Tonight, following post-election riots we saw last month, the 20-year-old who used that baseball bat to smash cars at a Toyota dealership faced a judge this week. While the prosecutor says Mateen Shahid wasn't participating in the actual riot, the judge still refuses to release him from police custody. This is Coin 6 News at 5 o'clock. I'm Jennifer Hawk. I'm Jeff Gianola. That wasn't the only damage mm -hmm. we saw that night. Protesters also smashed windows of businesses along Northwest Lovejoy in the Pearl District. Well, the group Portland Resistant, who organized the anti-Trump march, says they don't participate in violence. Now Coin 6 News has learned they expect to start reimbursing some of those businesses out of public donations. Lisa Balick live in the Pearl District with more on that money and the businesses. Lisa? Jeff, so far they've raised more than $55,000 in donations. And when I talked to the leader of the group this afternoon, he tells me they will start cutting checks to businesses on Monday. So I wrote them right away. Karen Page is owner and chef at Urban Pantry, a small deli and takeout dinner shop on Northwest Lovejoy. She was here when rioters bashed in her front door, windows, and left her with thousands of dollars in damages. She's still out $1,700. She tells me she immediately sent in her paperwork to the Portland's resistance GoFundMe. After waiting a couple of weeks, she wrote again and was told... They thanked me for writing, said they would gotten a lawyer to take care of... Uh, deciding or to take to oversee the funds and, and the bank account and uh, since then I've just been waiting. Paige was hoping the money would come through for rent due today. It's been a struggle. My business has just enough money to pay for what it needs and when I'm out that you know I'm out of paycheck my rent is short that kind of thing. This afternoon, organizers of Portland's resistance told me one reason for the delay is their GoFundMe account was frozen over questions whether the money would be used as intended. Greg McKelvey told me, though, it's been worked out and the account unfrozen so they can transfer the money into a credit union account and start cutting checks Monday. Paige and her customers hope she'll get a check. When customers were coming in wanting to donate money or help us out, we all sent them to that GoFundMe page. Uh, you know, we were pretty sure at that point that the money would be coming back to us, so. And again, the leader of Portland's resistance tells me that's the plan on Monday. He says there are at least 10 businesses or individuals who will be getting some of those donations, and he's still looking for other businesses to apply for that money. We'll be following this and see what happens on Monday. Live in Northwest Portland, Lisa Balick, Coin 6 News.